Hello and welcome to a new video about this controlling my ring, my my LED ring. Last time we switched to the ESP uh, USB platform and we realized okay it's working. Now that we are on a on a controller which is able to connect to Wi-Fi and is able to use MQTT, we could select the color of this turning lamp uh, by MQTT. This is what we try today. Okay, bring in MQTT. Good. Uh, what we want to do? I want also to add uh, LEDs so that we can display if we are connected to the Wi-Fi and if we are connected to MQTT. That's it. This I want to do. So this should be the Wi-Fi LED. I will use, I don't know, D2. Uh, D2, why not? And D3 as MQTT LED. Of course we had then to also use here ground. I will connect ground here via this connection line because I want to use here the corresponding resistors for the LEDs and here we are going to ground, that's it. Okay, looking good. Second one, MQTT LED, back also, uh -huh. there is already something on, whatever this means. No, it's not analyzed, it's not, it's not turned on. Or should I use D3 and D4? I will use D3 and D4, that's maybe better. I like it better. Then we have a little bit distance. Uh, maybe we want to use another one. So the red one, D3, is should act as Wi-Fi LED and the green one, D4, should act as, as MQTT LED. That's it. This is from last time, all right, and now, now we just want to try to, to, to adapt our program a little bit. First we want to try to connect to Wi-Fi and then to MQTT and then hopefully we can manage. Good, let's try this, let's try this. All right, so first things first. Here, below here, I really don't like this with this delay and so on. A delay is always bad. Therefore, I have written a, a library, it's called Timeout, and I will implement this now, Timeout. It's working rather easy. I will now, now introduce a Timeout value. Uh, and I will call this timeout uh, update LEDs. And this should be uh, 50 milliseconds. Okay. Now I've, it's an object, timeout object, update LEDs. And here, below here, I only have to ask if update LEDs from timed out. Then we will do this. Then I do not have to wait. I do not have to use this delay. Also this inside there. The only thing I also have to do is update dot update LEDs dot uh, set now. Then we will renew the timeout, and every time the timeout is timed out, so 50 milliseconds is passed, we will go in there. And the loop itself will work much faster than before because we don't have a delay. All right? Good. So that's that. That's that. And now we want to, to go into, into uh, Wi-Fi. How to do this? Well, first I have also to define here 
the my pins here. Uh, I call it LED Wi-Fi, and it's D3, and I will define LED MQTT, and it's D4. And now in setup, I will say pin mode, LED uh, Wi-Fi as an output. That's nice. And also LED MQTT as an output. All right. And I will also say serial.begin with the baud rate because I'm sure I want to print something out. Uh, because I prepared already a little bit something and I'm going to print this out. Okay. So what what libraries we have to use? Uh, well, we have the ESP62 Wi-Fi. This, and now we're adding quite a lot of stuff here. Look at that! But the only thing we really need is this Wi-Fi client. So the, these two should be sufficient, all right? So these two should be su sufficient. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, of course, we need we need the Wi-Fi SSID and we need the Wi-Fi password. Yeah? I will introduce this now as two strings. Yeah. You have to replace those lines with your access point, okay? And then, of course, we need to have the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi client. I am not using Wi-Fi client secure. I'm using Wi-Fi client because here in my local area network, the MQTT broker is already running. It's on, an, on an, a Raspberry uh, with Mosquito installed and there is not much security. There is no secure connection required. Yeah? If you're using a public MQTT server, you really should use Wi-Fi client secure. Yeah? But I am using here Wi-Fi client. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi client. This will uh, this will do the connection. All right. Actually, this is later used when I'm using MQTT. Right now, I have to... Right now, I have to uh, connect to Wi-Fi. I have prepared something. Look, I have prepared something. Yeah. I will make a timeout again yeah, and check Wi-Fi. I will check my Wi-Fi every 100 milliseconds periodically if this is already on. And now I will simply copy here a, a function, a method inside, and I will briefly explain what this is. Ooh, verbose. Ooh, verbose. I also have to use this verbose. What is verbose? <laughs> I add a library. I also written a library verbose. Huh? And I will add, is this, yeah, it's already there, okay. And I will add here a repose What does it mean? There are several bits inside and at this repose I can select if something should be printed out or not. Yeah, how verbose the printout is. Yeah? 255 means every bit of this byte where both bytes is set and here I will print all those things out. Yeah? Okay, so there is a static i, yeah? integer value. Yeah? If the Wi-Fi is timed out, it tries to connect with the Wi-Fi SSID, the Wi-Fi password. All right. 
uh, and this will wait then 500 milliseconds. Set timeout 500 milliseconds. Uh, if i equals zero. Right? And now i is not zero anymore, i is now one. So we will start here. And if Wi Fi is not connected, yeah, I will set a pool variable Wi Fi connected. I will also add this here pool Wi Fi connected. At the beginning, this will be false. All right. This will be false, this Wi-Fi connected, uh, and it will be set to false if it's not connected. Yeah? If the timeout occurred, so this 500 milliseconds they occurred already, then we will print a dot yeah? and say I++. Yeah? And here, if I, the rest of I divided by 2, the rest of it, the modulo, is true, then we will set the Wi-Fi LED to low, so it will not be lit. Otherwise, it will be high. So every second, every second I, yeah. So every second, 500 milliseconds, this will blink simply until it's trying to connect it. It will blink. Yeah. And here, this maximum Wi-Fi retries. I also have to define this. How many seconds? how many half seconds we try to wait, let's say 20. Uh, then we have 10 seconds time to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Okay. Then we set I again to zero, set Wi-Fi disconnect, yeah, and wait two seconds until we try again. Uh, and we turn off the Wi-Fi LED. If it is connected and the Wi-Fi is timed out, we say, hey, it's connected. Digital right. Yeah? This I will use afterwards. Yeah? Digital right, Wi-Fi LED high. We are high, Wi-Fi is connected is true. This is just, I also don't need this. This is just that we randomize, uh, that we can use random values. And the client ID, okay? The client ID is also a string. This is already prepared. This is already prepared for uh, it, the client ID for MQTT broker. This is okay. So every client which is connected to MQTT needs a client ID, and this client ID is here automatically generated. It's ESP8266 gateway, it's called underline, and then we have the MAC address. Okay. Then we have the MAC address, and therefore every client is unique. That's the reason for this. Yeah. So as soon as we connect uh, Wi-Fi, the client ID is generated for MQTT. Good. So that's that. Yeah. So we are connected now to Wi-Fi. And now we only have to take care that this connection is really done. Yeah. So, in setup, here, first I tell disconnect, please disconnect. When this is connected, please disconnect. It should not happen, but all right. And then I say the mode is st st station mode. So we are not, we are not, we are client. Right? We are not the host, we are a normal station. Okay, and then here down here in the loop function, I check if Wi-Fi is connected, is not connected, I will call connect Wi-Fi. Else, yeah, if Wi-Fi, if this Wi-Fi connected indicates it is connected and Wi-Fi status is not connected, I also will set Wi-Fi connected to false. Yeah. And here, this is for later. Yeah. This is, we are connected. To Wi-Fi, uh, and now we connect to MQTT. Uh, this would be the next step. But now, right now, we should be able to connect to Wi-Fi. This should work as before. This. Uh, let's upload. Let's see if this is uploading proper. Hmm. 
Okay, it's writing. Turn it a little bit, tune it a little bit down, that we can see exactly the LEDs and so on. Maybe. Make it like that. This should, this should, those two should be. Okay, now we're trying to connect. Connected. Seems like we are connected. Actually, we should see this here. But why is one hundred fifteen? Oh, well, wow. so here, here is an error. One hundred fifteen thousand, of course. Yeah. Let's upload this again. We should see it. We should see it in the serial monitor as well. Huh? If we are using the correct baud rate, of course, that we are connecting. Uploading. This is interesting that this is coming on the MQTT LED because there is no MQTT connection, but this is only during upload, it seems. No. Come on, could not connect, why not? Sometimes it's a little... Ah, no. Okay. New MQTT client, bug, client ID, everything's here. Okay, so now we're connected to Wi-Fi. Now we're connected to Wi-Fi. Next step is connect to the MQTT broker. Like I said, I have an MQTT broker running here. Yeah? I have an MQTT broker working for us. Yeah? The things we need, of course, are the data for this MQTT broker. And I will just put them here as well. Yeah? So the client ID is automatically generated. Yeah? So we have an MQTT broker. What is actually the address of my of my Raspberry, which is located under my, under my things. And here we have then username and password for MQTT. Okay. So that's actually everything we need. Yeah? So we are connected to Wi-Fi. I can close this. This is working. All right. And I also have prepared an MQDD, connect MQDD. Okay, of course we need the MQDD client. The MQDD client, this is a pub sub client. I'm using the pub sub client, so we're adding this library pub sub client book uh, and uh, actually the only thing we have to do is we have to hand over this Wi-Fi client. MQTT client, Wi-Fi client should, should be sufficient. All right. So that's that. We have now pub sub client generated. This is this MQTT client. And then this check MQTT we also have a timeout here, similar to, to check Wi-Fi, check MQTT, if the MQTT connection is still working. Okay, so let's see what this is doing. If MQTT is connected, yeah, and the, the MQTT is timed out, the MQTT LED will be lit. That's it. Yeah. If MQTT is not connected, the MQTT LED is turned off. Also good. Yeah, so the LED should in, indicate if MQTT is connected or not. Okay. If we're not connected and the server is timed out, MQTT port, okay. I also have to, 
I also have to uh, define this MQTT board. I have this here at the define because if it's a secure connection, it would be 8883. And if we have not secure connection, we have 1883. Okay, MQTT port, we try to connect. Yeah. MQTT broker, connecting to the broker, just said. Yeah. Uh, this is set server. Yeah. And now, if the username equals nothing, we don't have this, eh? then we connect uh, we connect client ID. We connect only with the client ID. This we're not doing. We are ending up here. If user pass is not, eh? we will connect and get the client connect with the client ID, with the username and the user pass, and we want to try to connect. We set the timeout to 100. Yeah? So if we are not able to connect, if we are able to connect, we will set the timeout to one 100 milliseconds and every 100 milliseconds we check the connection if this is still there. Okay? That's it. Yeah? And here, if MQTT client is connected, we are subscribing to a topic. Yeah? And I will have chosen here the topic LEDs cover. Because if, if at LEDs color something is received at this topic, then we want to get notified. And this notification, this is now we need a callback function. Uh, we need a callback function, and it is looking like that. get post callback, right? That's it. Yeah? And first things I will just... So this post get post callback. Here in this topic, there is the topic in, in, included. Okay, so we have the topic here and here we have uh, the sand string. I would call it sand string. It doesn't really matter why. Uh, a string which starting with receive yeah and now uh, I will add this topic string to the send string okay and then we will add a corresponding buffer okay so we will say uh, for int i equals zero i smaller than length this is the length of the message i plus plus we will send uh, sendstr plus equals uh, character of payload from i. So we'll fill this up with the payload. Maybe here we'll also write that's good. Yeah. And here I will just say print line uh, send string. So we should see what we are receiving, what, what we are receiving. So this is the, the, the callback function which will be called if a topic is received. Here in this character field the topic name is, in this payload the payload, pointer to the payload, and this length is the length of the payload. And here I'm just adding this payload to a string and put the string out. That's everything which is happening here. Okay? And this, this, this string has some header. Uh, doesn't really matter why. Uh, so this is get post callback. Good. So what actually what we need to do is that we set this MQTT client set callback get post callback. This is this function over there, yeah. and here this is what I prepared for prepared prepared first. Uh, now we are connecting to MQTT. Let's see if this is working. Upload this. Yeah. 
If you do it the first time, it will take longer, of course. Yeah, but I have already prepared this and I have done this several times. So we should see now the connection and so on. It will take again a little while to, to compile since we have a new library and so on. However, we should see Okay, we're uploading. Good. Connect, connect. Ooh, we are connected. We are connected to MQTT. Okay, now we want, we, we try to to check MQTT and of course I want to check it with my phone. Alright? So next thing I show you is is a MQTT dash. Right now now we managed to connect our things to MQTT. We subscribe the topic. This worked pretty well. Okay? Now we are ready to receive and actually what I try to receive is the color of my LEDs. Yeah. But this we will do in next video. Okay? This we will do in next video that I can show you this MQTT dash. It's an, an app I found and I want to show it to you. There is even a color button. You put the you can, yeah, I show it next time. Next video, MQTT dash. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.